Hello, boys. Oh. It's good to be back in the studio. Hello. Welcome back. How's everyone doing? I'm taking the day. I'm not going to talk today. Okay. I'll do it too. I'm I'm very tired. Like your Steelers shirt. Uh, thanks. God, fuck. It's cool. You got me with manners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a loophole. Hello, everyone. Uh, we were just discussing Friday. Erica gave the whole office the day off. Oh. And like Monday that. is President's Day. We love our presents, some of them. And I, I am going to be on vacation starting tomorrow till I'll be back on Sunday, but... I don't think I think everyone should take Friday and Monday off. Just enjoy it. Well, I, I, yeah, I changed my tune. I used to be like, ah, oh, fuck it, let's just keep working. And then I realized like that just sucks for everyone. Let's just take when we when we're given a day off, let's take the day off. Now, did you come to this realization in Arizona with that schedule? No, it was. When was the last? When was the day that? Was it uh, MLK Day? Was that TJ? We took that off. You said if you are right. right about that, you're racist. Yeah. Right, but it, before that, I was like, oh, I'll come in and work. And then I was like, well, if I say that, then everyone's just going to come and work, and that's a fucking dickhead thing to do. So we're taking Friday and Monday off. The yak will not be new, no new yak Friday and Monday. Does this smell like cum in here? Well, well Brandon was in here. Marty was sitting in that seat. Oh. It's, it's really cummy smelling. Is it cummy mm-hmm. smelling? I'm stuffy. You smelling that? I don't know. I don't know what cum smells like. Everyone, I don't think my cum doesn't have a smell. Are you? So, oh, it definitely are does. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, my cum doesn't have a. Oak your nose blind. Back. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't. Cum is a weirdly nostalgic smell for me. Yeah. There were there were days. Oh, you haven't come spring in days. Decades. There were come on now. There were spring days <laughs> where the whole our whole Saint Vincent school was Just cum cum soaked. Yeah. It was, smell. It was those trees. trees. It was the trees. Yeah. Oh yeah, the cum trees. Yeah. This smacks of cum. Not even mm. the cum is trees. Is it the mic or is it just the room itself? No, I feel like it's this area. Is your nose? I don't know. I wouldn't know. Is it, is it my new scent I'm wearing? I fell for a TikTok ad. Oh, no. <laughs> it's this woman that said, this is exactly what Harry Styles smells like. Mm. 85 bucks later, I smell like it, too. Oh, to Jay's. Um, yeah, he smells like cum. Roan, I uh, have a confession to make. I watched the video of you and Max the game probably about 100 times last night. What a roller coaster that was. It felt like the Eagles were going to win. It really did. did you get that sense? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did Much you of the game. Get that sense I did. It really did. did. Gonna win. To the point that I was doubling down on all my bets. Oh, no. Yeah. Can't do that. Yeah. Got that, greedy. Yeah. I haven't been able to watch. So it was like a great movie with a, just a, a bad ending. No. You didn't get to enjoy it did at you all? Watch, did you watch the clip of them at the game? Can you pull it up, TJ? It was just the highest of highs, the lowest of lows. Because sometimes I think a great movie with a bad ending, or what's this know, bitch walking in with? Oh, doesn't make me feel Valentine's as bad. Day? You know? she got some pizza. By the way, happy Valentine's Day, to everyone oh, yeah. out there. Hello. Oh, oh. It's not in the shape of a heart. Oh, oh. what is this? What is you guys my favorite pizza? Oh. 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 Yeah, you s- spilled sauce. Thank, Thank you, Kate. Kate. Wow, Kate. Thanks so much. Looks okay. good. Oh, happy it's Valentine's. What's this? Good. What's the occasion? It's red for Valentine's Day. Oh. Mm. And it's my favorite pizza in New York City, the upside down Sicilian slice. Oh, hell yeah. It's a good slice. It's yeah. a good slice. No, that's crazy. That's our favorite pizza in New York City. <laughs> oh, it's Why? The best. really good. I like it extra sloppy. Oh, nice. And it's yeah. close it to. It looks sloppy. I think yeah. accessibility is a huge part of your favorite pizza. Oh, yeah. It's across the street. That's yeah. why. Hmm. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Happy yeah. Valentine's Day. Love you all. Yeah. I love you guys. Huh. Gay shit. Yeah, I, bu- I I dropped my son off at school today, and he had Valentine's for everyone, including the teachers. And they, and they were like, "Damn!" <laughs> like, "Yep." Raise Lord. Yeah. Yeah, raise God. He, yeah, he was he was walking around like he owned the joint. What were the oh, themes yeah. of his Valentines? Um, I think they were ring pops. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then actual like candy for like the chocolate heart big box of candy for the oh. teachers. Yeah. Damn. Falling. Stunted on him. Oh, look at that. I saw these. He's recording. <laughs> mm. Wheel ain't going to be what's oh. getting you wet. That one. Oh, that one's oh one. aggressive. Actual, yeah. You're smoking and I'm not joking, baby. That's a good I one. I like that one. That's cute. You make me go wild. <laughs> oh, can you with the bag? I would tie a rama for you. That's a good one. 
I'm the king of going down south. That's uh, that should be Stephen Che. I'm the real king of the kitty. Okay, that's that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Valentine's Day sucks. The worst. Oh, I love it. We just admit it. Read Reed was. Did Ro not yeah. get a Valentine yeah. there? Uh, it's th- there. There is one in the Instagram. Yeah. It's just a okay. uh, limited number of, of posts you could put on that one. Oh. Thank you for looking out, though, brother. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> Why does it suck, you think? I don't know. Because the obligation, you f- it's like uh, unwinnable. Yeah. It's There's really nothing, yeah. I took my wife to a really nice dinner. Not that one. Another one back in, in Arizona. $20? Mm. Another wife? Valentine's Day? In Arizona last week, I took her to a nice dinner. And at the dinner, she's like, you don't have to get me something big for Valentine's Day. And in my mind, I'm like, what this? this is your Valentine's Day. Yeah, but that's the problem with Valentine's yeah. Day. This is mm-hmm. unwinnable. Has to be on the day. Unwinnable. Yeah. Better get her the newest tech. Women love tech. Do love tech. Yeah. My peak for Valentine's Day was in college when we would make reservations at the nicest restaurants in Madison and then sell them. Wow. Oh. Man, that's smart. That's <laughs> super smart. Yeah, because yeah. it was like before open table and any of those <laughs> yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of where Valentine's Day peaked for me. Would you scalp outside of the Oh, we'd just sell them on, uh, what What was the fucking... Craigslist. Yeah, Craigslist. Yeah, yeah. Oh, How much man. would you make on them? I, we made like a couple hundred bucks. Huh. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah. And in like college, just last minute Valentine's Day. Did you forget your Valentine's Day reservation? That's Damn. brilliant. They, they did. Everyone did. Yeah, everyone did. Yep. That's it. It's all been all downhill from here. I'm going out to a fancy dinner tonight, dude. I'm excited for it. Are you? Yeah, I'm a fancy good. like that. Yeah. Got your game plan ready? Um, just just eat good. I feel like I didn't eat great when I was in Arizona. I didn't have a good meal. Yeah, I, didn't I had one. That's got to be on you guys because they have some fantastic food. Down what did there. you eat? It's tortas. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, tortas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. tortas. Yeah. I had some bad mm-hmm. food too, though. Yeah. Exactly. I found a great Mexican restaurant across the street. I, that one I, place yeah. was great. Oh, yeah. fate. That was where Steven was getting there. the Brussels sprout nachos. I went to Los Sombreros. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good. What does that mean? Hats. Mm. 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 Pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Might have been Dos Sombreros now that I think about it. Oh, two hats. Two hats. Oh. Two hats. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. All right. All right. There's a 107. <laughs> There's a Chinese man. He's apparently 170. Oh, I hated old. looking at him. Um, Wait, 100 and what? That should have 178. No chance. Chance. How do they know? Do they count the rings? Dude, they change the age of that dude once a week. Yeah, but oh, look you, at him. You look, think, yeah, yeah. Think he's, be you think he's 700. Oh, he's gonna be. It's just. A I don't think they know how old he is. I think it's, it's, it's like. What is he on Twitter or something? He's a skeleton. He posts videos. He looks Ooh. terrible oh. for his age. And he's, I think he might be a pedophile. You know, he looks older than 170. Like, touching that <laughs> Check his flash drives. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he got 150 years in prison. Now he's out. <laughs> he's out. He's out. <laughs> he's, yeah. You shouldn't have let me out. 78? Look at him, man. Pedophile. That's not that true. man die. That's not his age. There's no way that that's how old that guy is. People don't live that long. I think he, so he's what do you probably think? got a genetic thing going on. 150? He's probably only 35. He's, there's, he's no more than 120. And I bet he's closer to like 100. How would you even want to leave like that? Shit. 96. Yeah, where's the fun looking in like that? You, come you up look with terrible. Yeah. Uh. yeah, looking bad for your age <laughs> at 96. Yeah. yeah. Loki had a little bicep definition, though. Dude, he looks so? bad for it's a dead definition. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, that would be a old for a dead guy. Yeah. Yeah. Naturally. Within a week, like a, a week old dead guy is better looking than him. Mm-hmm. What do you think the smallest thing that could kill that guy is? A hiccup? I think a bee sting would kill him. Oh, for sure. Trip. I don't know, though. He survived COVID in China. Oh, shit. True. What's he doing? He's touching kids, too. <laughs> oh. uh. Yeah, how fast could you kill him? Oh, 30 seconds? No. Yes, no. Kyle. No. I think I could just go like this. Well, I mean, technically, yeah, if you use a right. weapon, you could kill oh, him. I think one you don't think you could kill with him with, with, with your hands? With your body? Yeah. I bet you would take two minutes. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Punch yeah. him one time and get, oh, down and get on top of it. No. no, I think one punch. Look one punch. Neck. I just put my hands around his neck. Boom, done. I think a chop to the neck. I think if you just punch him in the chest. Yes. Yeah, his yeah. bones have yeah. to be like eggshell. Yeah. Punch through I, his body. It might be a, It might be satisfying. Yeah. It might be some ASMR <laughs> shit. It's like you go It'd be like a, a Mortal Kombat like yeah. punch. Oh. Like you'd like humans yeah. are resilient. Go through the rib cage. Yeah, people are people, people are more resilient. Alive. They die harder than you'd think. We're gonna have to be the ones that kill this guy. Though. <laughs> yeah. I want to see him again. Hold on. 
Let's see how fast I can Because there's other videos of him, and he's always tussling this little girl's oh, hair. This guy. Guys, I'd, 30 seconds. Dude, yeah. I'd twist his head off like a fucking <laughs> soda top. He moves animatronically. Yeah. Yeah. Moves like a Chuck E. Cheese grab rat. grab his skull Mr. and just Mr. go, Mr. Munch. whoop. No. Is there any confirmation that he's 100? I don't think that's no, real. I don't think that's, that's a real, real person. Yeah. Uh, it, it really might not be a real person. It could be just. The, Imagine if it's just like a, a 30-year-old dude who just spent way too much time in a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> just a spring breaker. <laughs> he's just yeah. a smoker. Yeah. He's just really dehydrated. <laughs> he has one Gatorade, and he just goes right back to normal. A Snickers bar. Flates. I could burst yeah, everyone's yeah. bubble right now. Oh, fuck. I could burst it. I'm burst not going to, though. It's I, Valentine's I like it to be burst. Day. Is he I'm trying to think what? He's actually 179. He's, it's a real no, story. No, he's not. There's no, no way. There's no, way. No, 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 he's dead. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, okay, he's good. Dead. What? Yeah. I'd like to think we helped kill him. He's yeah. from Thailand. Uh, but he did live to 109, so he was old. He looks yeah, awful for 109. Awful. 109? This video goes yeah. viral once a week, and they change okay. the age every week. And they're saying that close. was his granddaughter, but if that was his granddaughter and he was 109, he had his kids son would have had kids at like age 60 or something? I don't know. Oh. There's no way he's pumping out. Or... You got it, bro. There's dust coming out of that. My dad had me at 90. <laughs> you see that story? Yeah. so pissed. There's a story about a dude in uh, Africa who's retiring from, from the fucking game, and he has like a thousand children. Good for him. It's a legend. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Genghis Khan numbers. Yeah. From Artyish. They're saying Kinshasa will, could be the biggest city in the world. Yeah. What's, What's that? that? It's in the Congo. King Shasa? King Shasa. What does that, what does that uh, entail? Of Shinsuke Nakamura's final move. Because, like, you know, these cities that are growing rapidly in developing countries, like even like China, they're not fucking, they're not reproducing as much. India. Did, in, I, did India just overtake China? Yeah. The population? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, gonna, it's going too soon. If it neck hasn't. and neck. Are we three? No. We're not oh, even close, close, I don't we're think. We're like 300 million. We don't Nigeria is almost a billion, right? Oh, fuck. No, we, we are. Fuck. We are th- we are three. I would, yeah. Are we f- three in population? Four? I think we're four. Well, it's China, India. Yeah, no, we're three. Yeah, we're Fuck three. you I guys. Told you I, was, uh, I told you. Yeah, Fuck they're... all the doubters. Was it that ahead? There have always been, been three people more. <laughs> Did you see like the Japanese social? Uh, the the um, I forget what he is, but he recommended like it's crazy elderly commit suicide because they're living too long in like Japan. Mm. Recommended. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen? I'm prescribe you this seppuku? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, you should just kill yourself. They up have those like from pods. Suicide but, pods. Yeah, and they're like super creepy. Have you seen them? What? There's like suicide, like 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 a suicide. Is it legal pods. In, is it in Japan? It's legal in America. That shit's in crazy. some places. It's like uh, the Nazis at the end of World War II. They all just committed mass suicide. Yeah. They're just like, well, this didn't work out. Yeah. Whoops. When do y'all think y'all will be old? I think uh, I think me at sixty is a lot older than you at sixty. Me? Yeah, I think sixty is old for me. I think like seventy is old for you. Yeah, it's a compliment. That's a compliment. Well, it's it's Crazy actually about we had this discussion on the rundown a little bit yesterday because Dave was trying to say that we're oh, he's old. Yeah, well, he is old. But Kevin made the point that if you have kids, you're automatically older, which yeah. is true. Yes. Like a fifty-year-old, a single fifty-year-old versus. A, Fifth year old with like three kids, there's a very big difference. You become an yeah. adult when you have kids. Right. Yeah. Right. Basically. Right. And also it just eight like I think just it ages you. Sleep and just everything. Responsibility. Yeah. Puts, a, yeah. puts a ticker on the Y'all see that fucking Chelsea Handler video though? No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I I like that Ben life. Shapiro got mad about it because it was it was a it was a stupid skit. It wasn't me it didn't make me laugh, but it was clearly mm-hmm. a skit and he was like She's. What? Can you play it? She, you don't think her building a time machine or teleporting? Uh, yeah, he like took it very seriously. He's like, I bet she goes home at night and and is like so sad that she doesn't have any kids. Dude, she goes she home was, to her mansion where she's she making a joke. Say. It was not yeah. a good joke, but it was a joke. She used to just have her bags out on the timeline on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah she did. Yeah, that shit was fucking mm. sick, bro. On some yeah. equine, yeah. Yeah, on some equine <laughs> shit, bro. She was on the. She yeah. was. Riding bareback. Which one is it? This one. That one. Like, it's not funny. When you have this much free. This is a day in the life of a child. Oh, I didn't know it had words. I wake up at 6 a.m. I remember that I have no kids to take to school, so I take an edible, masturbate, and go back to sleep. I wake funny. up at 12:30 p.m. and get ready for a busy day of doing whatever the f- 
I feel like. I put on my most impractical and stylish like shoes that. since I won't be chasing a child around the grocery store. I go to my fave spot in Paris to grab a croissant. I do a meditation sesh on the plane since I have no screaming kids, allowing me all the time in the world to become enlightened. The weightlessness of my existence has granted me superhuman powers. Mm. I teleport myself back home. Then I get ready for a night out with whatever hot guy I met on Raya that morning. I call up a babysitter and it's tell Raya. her that I don't need her like since I still tender. don't have yeah. kids. Wow. Now it's time for a workout, so I hit Mount Everest for a quick climb. I invent a time machine. Go back in time and kill Hitler. I think crazy really bastard. <laughs> it's amazing. What you're doing. I actually do. I think this is hysterical. And that's a day in the life of a childless woman. I'd like to know more about like, celebrity Tinder. So Ben Shapiro said, I don't think it's like, it's like you have to get like verified. I don't know something dumb. He said the best thing about this video is that it features her explaining that she can do whatever she wants as a person with no kids, and so she names a bunch of stuff she didn't do. Because her actual life consists of drinking a shitload of wine and being really, really sad. Ha! You're right. She didn't go back time travel and kill baby Hitler. Yeah. yeah. Roasted. Yeah. It was like both those debunked. Both the video <laughs> was the video was not funny and the tweet took it way too serious. Yeah. Everyone loses There's it. There's a whole Hero. like group of people firing off about that shit. Like she's a threat to the nuclear family and shit yeah. like that. Like she's just First of all, that's a power. green screen on the plane. She definitely didn't fly to Paris. She couldn't yeah. sit cross legged <laughs> yeah, yeah, when there yeah, was yeah. just no one around yeah. her on the plane. She that's could so teleport the whole time. Why would she fly there? <laughs> it's so very weird to be like I I am so obsessed with kids. I want everyone else to have them as well. I know that's a very bizarre. No, I, like, why wouldn't you just want to live your own life? Oh, no, I need other people to go through it. I think people. There is like a massive. Ah. Did you ever get this? Where your where your friends who had kids before you were like, you gotta do it, and and they're like, kind of like uh, pushing it on you. I know that that happens to my wife sometimes. Her friends yeah, who where they're kids, like, oh, they're like. They want her the misery loves company aspect yeah. of it, right. where it's like they they need you to go through it so you can also feel the pangs of, uh, of the, the whole life. I think I just have lived away. I, I think now that I had a kid, it's been more the other way around. Where I, my friends who had kids younger, I go to them and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I wasn't more helpful to you. Yeah. I had no idea how fucking hard it was, and mm. I would be like annoyed that they. Were, I'm like, oh, you can't come out, blah blah. And now I'm like, oh, I get it. Oh my god. Um, yeah, it's, a great, it's great though. I highly recommend it for everyone. It's just weird uh, to be like, I want these. Yeah, these people must have kids as well. Yeah, caring what other people do like that is so weird. Right. And also, too, all, I see a lot of those guys being like, they pretend like they have these great lives, but they go home. They're in their thirties. If she's in her thirties and she's single, you know she's miserable. My early thirties, before Pat and the baby, I finally had money and freedom, and I was living in New York City, and it was like. Probably yeah. some of the best time of my entire life. Right. Like, mm -hmm. it's pretty fucking sick, actually. Um, God, I don't think the I don't think the misery, <laughs> I don't think the misery of not having kids happens until yeah, you're like later. That's like really 50, old 50s, and no one's yeah. there to yeah. help you. Then yeah. I could understand it. Like if you're like eighty, that's probably gonna suck though. Yeah. That what being eighty and just having nobody to right. To that I could understand, oh, yeah, but yeah. being in your thirties, forties, fifties with no kids, I'm you just pretty sure you'd from be China, happy. Bro. You adopt that age. Yeah. Yeah. Adopt that eighty. Yeah. And there's no promising that your kids aren't going to abandon you at the end anyway. Facts. They, I used they to probably are. At the VA retirement home, and let me tell you, not a lot of visitors for those guys. They were parents. I'm the already said I'm fucked. Yeah. 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 My daughter probably will listen to the Pickham episode <laughs> with Dave in 2013, talking about Sam Ponder. That will be the end of our relationship. <laughs> oh yeah. Just is what it is. <laughs> yeah. She's no like, uh, Dad, I have Sam Ponder's side. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you could build up some resentment pretty easy. Oh, easy, easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That probably won't happen to nah. oh. Matt Walsh. Well, I'll Matt just be real. I'll just buy my kids off. <laughs> That's so if awesome! You'll be able to do that. Yeah. Be like, well, do you want a mm -hmm. your inheritance? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll just I'll I'll make them spin a wheel for their inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> you act. I would know. rule. I would so rule. <laughs> oh, fuck. I might have to do it. Do it live at the funeral, dude. I was saying the other day, the um Dave Dave keeps saying he has so much money because he doesn't have kids. He's like, I have so much money, I'm gonna die with money. Could you imagine if he just left his inheritance to like Frank? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. 
Frank's definitely going to die after Dave. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I, I think Frank might sneaky just go to like 85. Or one right in everyone's nine. face. Sneak. <laughs> yeah, just right. Because everyone always, you know, all the mean people on Twitter are being like, he's going to. No, fuck it, Frank. Show the haters. But imagine if Frank, like if Dave died tomorrow and it was in his will that Frank gets like $100 million. I don't think it changes Frank's life at all. Life. Oh, he would just he get wouldn't. better seats at the Mets. Yeah. Not even a little bit. Yeah. I don't even think he'd want the better seats. No, he wouldn't. No, he, he's wouldn't. St- he needs yeah, that, true, uh, that. True, true. Yeah. Maybe a helicopter to take him there. Uh, I like it. No. I don't know. I don't think it changes his life one iota. More memorabilia. That probably. Yeah. Better jerseys. I would like to see Frank buy like a minor league team. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or, yeah. Just see how he runes it. The Franks. Imagine if they were just the best baseball team of all time. Peoria yeah. Franks. Yeah. 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 He has institutional knowledge. People forget. He's a bright guy. There are a lot of Frank and the Frankette fans out there. In, uh, this is bullshit. Yeah, Arizona. It's, it's humbling. <laughs> we are. Did you see? There was like, there's a, wim, women fans too. Yeah. yeah. You guys have women mm-hmm. trivia fans. Yeah. I took a picture with one who had surreal. 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 Yes. It was like a crop top Frank and the Frankette shirt. So it might have been a woman. But which which is more than any of the rest correct, of the teams. Correct, correct. Yeah. The Yak has no fans left. <laughs> We're fans. No, you guys are the cool. fanless franchise at this point. <laughs> Bad boys. <laughs> I was thinking about that just randomly. I was like, no one is going to root for us ever That's again. awesome. Yeah, I guess. Bad boys of trivia shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> Jeff said it didn't affect your fan standing at all. Dude, it was so funny on the uh, way out. People were screaming at me. They were like, so no. <laughs> Cheater! <laughs> like, you're the fucking worst. <laughs> That's so <laughs> like funny. Oh, they're That's so crazy. mad. From the depths of their, like, lungs. <laughs> yeah, no, now that we're removed from it, the whole thing was It's so funny. Yeah, like, in the yeah. moment, I was kind of bummed out because it's like, I, I don't want to be the cheaters, but. <laughs> Ron kind of forced my hand on the hat. And no, I mean, you're not. Did you, you get anything, anything tossed at me. you? Uh, no, no. So what was it? You guys weren't supposed to talk, and you talked. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. But it was just. Uh, yeah, if like a crowd, if people like walking outside of that arena like saw the mob coming out, they would have assumed it was like a, a UFC fight yes. <laughs> or a, a boxing match. Or election or something. It was a bar like stool that. trivia tournament. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean the live crowd is awesome. Yeah, so it was much fun. Yeah, but it, it is. Are very like, the idea of it is pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you're going to a trivia night? Like, did you answer any questions? No, I watched. <laughs> I watched, and then I got really mad. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Marjorie Taylor Greene yelling at. Yeah. Uh, Biden. Yeah. I'd be like, you lie. Yeah. And then they got mad. They got mad at me for f- trying to forfeit. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, so great in hindsight. Yeah. No, in hindsight, it's ve- the whole thing is very. I mean, the people probably had a blast. Oh yeah, probably the live events night. are so much fun. Yeah. yeah. That probably made the entire event. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, you don't have haters. You don't have fans. Yeah, that's true. That's a other wrinkle of it is like. If you ask Steven, he would. He has no idea that people are mad at us. Like he just be like what. <laughs> I thought we played a great game. We gave him a show. We're a good team. Yeah. It's, uh, it's unflappable. A live event, you know. Some someone's got to be the villain, you know. Mm-hmm. Someone's it, people are gonna have more fun if they can root for someone and root against someone. See, that's why Brandon's mad because Brandon likes to be the villain on a team of other like. He likes to have yeah. his cake and eat it too. Mm-hmm. He's the villain on the winning team with two likable. Right. You oh. can't be the villain if you're a baby face. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So he's mad because I can take- play both roles. I did that night. I wish Fran should have won MVP. No, she. Sh- mm. she should have. You know, you guys are going to win the end of season tournament. Yeah, that's yeah. that's just Brandon a and no, yes, them. Brandon no, and you PFT guys. And I scored eleven points the cheat. first game. We're gonna we're gonna boys get, always do. We're gonna get those butt plugs the chess guy had. <laughs> oh, get the vibrating butt plugs. If we, I'll just say right now, if we find a way to get butt plugs, yeah, that vibrate the answers to us and we win the tournament, that should count. I would I would respect that. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. If it's Honestly. our brand to cheat now too, I think that that kind of opens things up for us. <laughs> yeah. Chicago wrote it for two years. It's mm. True. True. It's really Fast. We got to build you a boys. trivia team. No, God no. no. Who doesn't have God, teams? No. No, no, no. Yeah. You hate. I don't know anything. I don't want to be on a trivia. Francis. Team. Yeah. Francis. No. Francis would be good. No, be I really think really good at trivia. Was terrible, wasn't yeah, he? No, no, he'll be. No, he went to Harvard. Went to Harvard, dude. He has to be good. Which afford him? Sports <laughs> knowledge is just not hard and to I believe. Feel like no not one's, a thing. No one's touched your foot. Your uh, 
Well, I don't want to eat. I, well, people I, hate eating into the mic, and it yeah. just occurred I want to me it. that I brought in the sloppiest food. Yeah, it does look. It looks great, but it's it looks great. extra sloppy. It's super sloppy. Extra. I asked for it extra sloppy, and oh. I made it extra sloppy. <laughs> um, you asked for it extra yeah. sloppy. <laughs> uh, did we? Did you guys? Do the Mincy video, of course. Yesterday? But oh, I would be, I would be welcome man. to do it a couple more times. I mean, that, yeah. We almost yeah. had an emergency yeah. yak on the yak text chain. We're like, should we yeah. figure <laughs> out a way to do it on when it dropped on Friday night? Incredible, incredible. Oh, that video, yes, yes. He's the funniest man alive. Has he yeah. spoken out since then? Has he said? Oh, well, he had his halftime show, and he did a victory oh, lap right. on the views of that video. Yeah. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. He did a "We Are the Champions" uh, rendition on the halftime show about himself. Uh-huh. So he it was he changed some comment. of the words. And it was for himself being overcoming all of uh, the issues with Dave to then be invited to the halftime show. Oh, okay. He actually okay. blogged the actual true story. Did he play it off like he knew what he was doing? Here's the true story. I hope not. He's on the minty beat. He just covers himself. <laughs> yeah, he is. The, <laughs> the true story. The whole I had thing. no idea it was going to be that complicated. It's, it's a box. I mean, he just never even revealed it. Yeah, not even close. <laughs> that guy. I don't know how I lost the control of the situation. You're Mincy. <laughs> you, the situation is your life, and you've never had control. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong. It's a box. How the hell I got myself <laughs> in that situation, I have no idea. Again, <laughs> he needs, He's right. Yeah. He woke up that went day. <laughs> We're Mincy. I just had to get the bobblehead open, and he did. Two million views. It's my second biggest video ever, behind the time I went after the Vandy Whistler. Right, what is this like? Like subtle shade at Nick? Thanks, I guess. Yeah, I just genuinely oh, meant yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's weird. Thanks, the hell? I guess. <laughs> yeah, Nick watched it and he really liked it. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for texting me that it was funny, and you yeah. laughed, and you've watched it over nine hundred thousand yeah. times. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I am good at that part. Oh man, Mincy. What a gem. Yeah. He's the best. The fucking best, man. I can't wait till next football season. Where's the Super Bowl next year? Vegas? Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Vegas. A little cabaret yeah, for fun. Mincy. Yeah. Live on the strip. Sass has a what show at the stand. <laughs> what was the thought process but his song selection of the the halftime it was bringing down the house, burning down the house, burning down the house, and we got the champions. I think got like a, didn't he say he got like a DM from someone saying to play burn it down the house? I don't know. I thought I saw something about that on Twitter. The only two songs. And then did he fly back to New Orleans? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did he was he just in and out? He showed up. Didn't even finish the game. He showed up on. Saturday afternoon and left Sunday night. <laughs> he, we flew in our halftime act. What do you guys think that he calls those a shirt, a white undershirt that's sleeveless? What do you guys think he calls it? Ooh. I think he goes by the... Because uh... I know the answer, and I think you might be wrong. So you say... You say so not so a tank top? Not, not, tank not top. a tank top. Muscle you, shirt? What do you think? Not a muscle I'm shirt. I'm thinking the term for Italian. A right. guinea tea. Yes. He calls it a guinea tea. Does he? Uh, I never heard it. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Security guard Dan said he was like, yeah, I, I got to go get a guinea tea, <laughs> which is hilarious. Huh. I didn't. I didn't even know that was a term for it. I didn't. Honestly. I guess that I only know sense. wife beater, but like guinea certainly tea. certainly didn't think that was a term for it in the South. I've never heard that. It's never that wife beater. It's got always Italians in the South? Oh. Couple. They always, you know, we have liquor stores. <clears throat> Is that who works at the liquor stores in the city? Italian. <laughs> yeah, they they run they they run the trades in town. You think yeah. Indian people are Italian? <laughs> the best part is on one of the songs I can't remember if it's the first or second. He missed the beginning and he didn't catch up for like two minutes. Oh, he, just <laughs> well, he doesn't know the words thing. either. Can we just be honest? He doesn't know the words. Well, too. he made his own words. But why did he pick a oh, song he that he doesn't know? He didn't have time to practice, Nick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did his own words. Some of them, yeah. Yeah. Some of them he tried to stay with the normal ones. Whatever, it was great. That was back when life was awesome, bro. <sighs> Two days ago? We're up 10. Oh, yeah. That is like the last that I remember feeling good for a while. I've been feeling pretty bad since then. Did you feel like you were surrounded by authentic fans? What do you mean? Like the crowd at the Super Bowl. 
Uh, I thought a lot of them were. I mean, the Eagles yeah. fans were like psychos. Like they were making the Chiefs fans so mad. And the Chiefs fans were like all just trying to be like nice. Like we're from Iowa. Like mm-hmm. shut the fuck up, bro. Max spilled uh, an entire beer on the Yeah, in front yeah. Of them. Oh. Saw that tweet. Chiefs fan. Yeah, the oh. Iowa Chiefs fans, they were so mad. <laughs> yeah, here's oh. oh yeah. He's like I got a fucking headache. He's wearing two pairs of pants in this video. Yeah. His son looked like he was just bulging oh, down on you guys. This is so sad. Oh, it hurts to watch. I was like in these people's ears being like, we're different. (laughs) (laughs) I love that you guys like talking, trying to figure out what happened. Like, (laughs) that dude behind us was like a psycho. People were so mad at him. Keep composure. One half away from winning the fight. Oh, God. Oh. No. How did that happen? <laughs> oh. What are we fucking doing? What the fuck is Gabe doing? He just made one fucking adjustment. Yes! Yes! He just did That's my fucking guy. I'll suck his dick right now. <laughs> <laughs> Saying he's a tough son of a bitch. Yeah. Because he is a tough son of a bitch. Yeah. I, I said I would turn off the ears. I can't. Yes, but I would have. Is he a tough son of a bitch or is he a tough motherfucker? Looking back, I wish he was hurt. I'll never watch that game again. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, bro. you might. No, nah, I already paid you. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Where? On Venmo. Oh, shit. No way. I'm never Aww. watching that game. Was again. it the right Dan Katz or did somebody squat on his name? <laughs> Someone got $6,000. <laughs> Damn. I can never Oh, watch. yes. Super Bowl slippery turf. New payments of $3,000. Yeah, I can never watch it again. That's actually a smart move, buddy. I, every, even on my, because I, I tricked the algorithm into thinking that I want all Eagles content for the entire fall. I just have been consuming everything, reading every article, Philly Voice, The Athletic. I'm fucking crushing all content from Eagles creators. Eagles Max. And then they're just shoving, shoving the Super Bowl down my throat, and I can't be even online. I can't look at any of it. I yeah. can't watch any plays. I can't watch any highlights. I can't watch any analysis. I can't look at anyone's excuses. It makes me feel so bad the deal was still worth it though yes i mean you got to go to a super bowl and if they had won you would have been going for free yes like you would take that deal 100 times out of 100 totally because i would have gone i would have like paid to go no matter what right exactly it was worth it was worth Worth the risk the gamble of it but um i would have been so happy to not get paid back by you guys it's i have such bad uh yeah, it's such a bad Pavlovian response to that game. Every time I fucking see it, it makes me feel bad. Yeah. What was the clip with you and Max, where uh, the one where Big Cat, you were asking them if they thought of anyone they wanted to meet at the after party? Yeah. Max was like, no, nah, no. Nah. Rome was like, we definitely did. Yeah, he was like, he was like, no, 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 I don't even want to talk about it. And Rome's <laughs> yeah. like, but we talked about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that cracked me up so much. I also, Max was like, uh, he was like, this is the lowest and worst I've ever felt in my life. And I was like, are all four of your grandparents alive? And he paused, and he was like, no. <laughs> yeah, it's fair, yeah. It's uh, fair. Did you guys go straight back to the house? That was the deal. If the if the Eagles won, the tickets were free, mm-hmm. and I would do, I was going to, I had like probably three or four people that I was ready to just burn down their phones trying to get them into the after party. Yeah. But if the Chiefs won, they had to go straight back to the house. After the game, here's what happened. We sat in our seats for 15 minutes of dead silence just next to each other, me with a flag over my head, like our legs touching because we're just squeezed into the stadium and neither of us fucking moved. We walked out of the stadium for like 45 minutes. We were trying to get an Uber, couldn't get a single Uber. Some lady said that she could take us in like a SUV. And I was like, how much? She said $500. I was like, (gasps) fuck it. And I got in the car. We sat in her car for about 35 minutes, and we didn't move in the parking lot to the point where she just turned her car off. I was like, we're getting out of this fucking car. (laughs) 
didn't pay her the money. We just got out of the fucking car. We're like, you can get another ride, right? She wouldn't like, yeah, she, she was like, she can get another ride. And so we walked for like two and a half more miles, went to a fucking Ugh. gas station, found a guy who had like a lift thing lit up. Like I just agreed to pay him like $150 <gasps> and just uh, eventually got back to the house. They were already recording, just walked yeah. straight in and just with just, just, hell just oh, the, the yeah. worst feeling the worst it's not even therapy it was like oh man i feel so bad still but sadness sells like i was thinking about it the most iconic moments in partial history is like the saddest moments like those the 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 thing we do better than anyone else oh, i wouldn't trade it for anything man. true <laughs> sports misery and people people are just sickos and perverts and they just lap it up yeah yeah people were like uh like why was he filming himself at the end of the game? Like, like fucking just enjoy the moment. Like, just fucking focus. It's like, dude, I know people are, are out here yeah. dying to see. Like, they hate the Eagles and they hate the fucking, like, Eagles videos. And, like, they hate all that shit. And it's like, that was literally a gift for them. Being right. like, look at mm. me. Look at me at my worst moment. Here, here, you can fucking chew on that and just shit down my throat. Right, and people are like, uh, like, oh, you guys are talking about, you know, Max and Roan's misery or my lost bet. Go watch ESPN for the highlights. Yeah. This is what we do. People love it. Yeah. They fucking... I, we, I had so many people hit me up. They were like, I listened to the whole show and then I had to go watch it to see how bad it was. And it was bad. It's different to watch. <laughs> it's very different to watch. <laughs> yeah. Max hey, just Max. a sad sack. Hey, Max. He's just and people were dealt. They're like Max deserved it. Well, he had a bad. The last I saw him on Saturday night, he was drinking champagne at the Barstool Scottsdale bar. And then I got all the guys into this party. I went home because I was so tired. And next morning, Hank told me that all Max was doing was walking around the party, just telling like strangers. The one thing about me is I could kick the fuck. I could kick the shit out of Hank anytime I want. He would just say that to strangers. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> just funny and true. Yeah. yeah. Just Definitely. saying the one thing about me. <laughs> and just about walking me, around. Beat Hank's ass. And saying he's going to get numb. Uh, he's a great drunk. He's yeah. A, he's a classic drunk. He really is. And he's just his body type is so funny. <laughs> yeah. Max came to one of my shows. Oh, he was incredible. A couple weeks ago. Yeah. And he was just screaming laughing the whole time yeah then he got crowd, he got crowd worked for 10 minutes and yeah. didn't realize yeah, he has no yeah the guy was talking directly to yeah. him yeah. He, he just wasn't even so paying he was, he was awesome great he is his guy. walk to darts yeah i mean when oh, oh find that clip yeah. find yeah. that clip the darts walk yep. that is max yeah yeah he just said on on the show on sunday he's like i'm I've been a really bad guy the last two days. <laughs> <laughs> he lost his phone before the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's that's the worst oh. day to do that. With We're his, out with partying. The tickets on it. it. Yeah, with the tickets on it. Oh. And uh, yeah, he was just so. Did he find it? He no, he went and bought a new one. Oh. That was the best oh, part. At the end of the show, I was like, "What time's Holy your flight shit. tomorrow?" He's like, "I don't know. I have no apps on my phone." <laughs> that's he, crazy. <laughs> yeah, he had a brand new phone. He slept on, Hank showed me a picture, he slept, Hank had two beds in his hotel room, and Max refused to sleep in the bed, because he thought Hank was like trolling or, or something, so he slept on the couch, with a bed right next to him. Why? How would Hank be trolling him at that point? He was a bad point. guy, he was a bad guy. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> Uh, like there's no way this bed is real. Good to see the King Lear see nightlife after yeah. Baron in the back. I'm the most fired up for darts, Johnny. <laughs> Here we are. The darts walk. Darts, darts, darts. Greer brought Greer bought like 150 tickets to darts for June. Yeah. yeah. He messed up. Oh, for the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Claimed already. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna I have to get go. more. I think it'd be funny if none of us pay him. I know. <laughs> Best is that all the tickets are on his phone. That's yeah. why they all had to meet up last time. Yeah. So they all had to go in together. Yeah. <laughs> just stand there scanning each one. Like, one, two, three. That's just how yeah. Greer buys, buys tickets, though. If he wants to go something, he buys like 20 tickets and then just finds people to go with him. Yeah. It's kind of a pretty smart move. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Brandon, why don't you do the high noon ad? I can do the high noon ad. Last week was a high noon ad. It was mm. just high noon everywhere. How's that pizza? Oh, it's delicious. It's fantastic, and I appreciate Kate for bringing it. It's almost as delicious as the high noon that we had out in Arizona. It would pair very well with that pizza. Yeah, many what? flavors could. Watermelon. Pineapple. You would go with the pineapple on the pizza. I, I don't mind pineapple on pizza. I think the passion fruit would do well. 
That's what flavors we had at the Barstool Bar Saturday, Sunday night. We had the passion fruit and the pineapple. Saturday night? Saturday night, yes. When I saw you in the hotel, you were going to, I was coming from the Barstool Bar. Oh, nice. Remember we saw each other? Yes. And we, Ships passing in the night. Mm-hmm, we, we shared a man, a man hug. That was nice. I think that, yeah. Our, our we didn't. You actually good. dismissed me pretty dismissively. Oh, I didn't? Yeah, I, you did. I got into your car. Yeah, you took my car. No, Mike was driving and you were done using it. But you didn't, I, I was like, hey, and you just kind of walked around me. You didn't really, didn't really acknowledge me very much. I don't think I did. I think Your I, wife was very friendly. I th- I was about to say that we had a we built our relationship this week despite our our trivia going head to head. Oh, I think and, we did get through and that. And now I'm um, I'm the enemy of the state. Oh, you're not the enemy of the state. I noon. I noon is delicious. I knew, only a hundred calories, gr- gluten free, no, no sugar malt, added. no sugar added either. Yeah. Mm. Very very good drink. Very good for you. Also delicious. I know. Sucking down some high noons. You can get it at Drizzly. You go to highnoonspirits.com. You pretty much get it. Any bar, I think. I mean, I don't see any bars without high noon these days. Or you days. can go to Brandon's house where he has like 7,000 cases. Pallet. I gave them all away, but when I moved, <clears throat> my neighbors got some, though. It's a guy's drink, too. Yeah. Guy's drink. Fantastic. I was out on Friday night, and one of the guys went and got around, and he got high noons for the women and beers for the men. I was like, I want a high noon. Mm-hmm. The hell. The hell. No, you were nice, though, Ron. I was just, I was just, just you know. I was like he wasn't. It was, a, it was a quick moment we had. Hey, Roan. Roan, I heard you were a dick to Brandon Walker. <laughs> yeah, but you cheater. You can get away with that. You fucking cheater. <laughs> Shout out to security guards. They they were awesome. Yeah, all they week. were everywhere. They're the best of us. Best. They really are. Best. They, they get are. to have fun at all? Did they get no, to No, they had fun, fun, but but yeah. they No, they didn't get to go out one night though. No. They didn't get to no. go out one night. No. I was asking Mike all all week, when are you going to go out? Yeah. He was like Saturday night and then Saturday night he was working all night. But Mike got Mike I think the happiest I've ever seen Mike is he he got to just dominate everyone in pickleball on Saturday <laughs> or really? Sunday was good Sunday. yeah you guys he just held court now? and he just it was literally like he was playing I saw I looked up one point he was playing two on one yeah. he was playing one on one he was just oh. kill, he was smiling ear to ear kind of a paper championship me and Kyle weren't there he would have killed we were, you we were undefeated yeah, we were he was beating we Jake weren't good and though. Stephen we were undefeated we were a though. tough undefeated yeah uh. But are you guys in on the hype now on the pickleball? Yeah, hype? I am. Are you not? Yeah, and I completely get it. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, it's just sm- it? it's smaller tennis. Just as no, it that's makes better. You, yeah. you immediately feel like you can compete. You don't huff and puff. There's no exhaustion. Mm-hmm. My problem with tennis is I just always want to just hit home runs. That's what yeah. Che. That's how Che was playing. Right. So then they just made it smaller, and I just still want to just fucking smash the ball. After like five minutes, I'm like, wouldn't this be more fun if it was a wiffle ball home run derby game? Mm-hmm. It would be. You know that. Yeah, well, yeah but that's I mean, one of the most fun that. things on earth. Right. So, so yeah. anytime I'm hitting something, hitting a ball with a with an object, I'm like, this should be a wiffle ball home run you derby. You could ask that question about any activity you're ever doing. Well, no. No. If you're throwing a football around, you're not would like- Would this show right now be more fun if it were a wiffle ball home run derby? But I'm not hitting something with- If I was hitting something with my hands right now, I'd be like, yeah, I wish this was wiffle ball. Mm. Should we do a wiffle ball home run derby? That would be fun. Yeah. When's our When's our uh, mall show? Oh, uh, Connor Griffin went there this weekend to scout some uh, activities out. Uh, activities. We have I, to. They're gonna try and get it sold as like a video, and then probably yes. like May. Kate, I went a couple weekends ago. Did you like my it? kids? It was awesome. Yep. It was. Yep. Like we did like one. 50th of the activities and it burned four hours they're happy to just walk around like that garden area and all that like legoland ever. yeah mm-hmm. aquarium legoland is so sick yeah. Yeah. i was in legoland for like awesome. two hours yeah the aquarium and legoland there are right like right next to each other yeah so you get tom one you go right into the other it's like five dollars more to buy it for both food court's pretty solid food court is pretty solid yep. although whenever i don't know if you guys are like this but whenever i go to a mall food court I'm like, look at all the options, and then I just end up with the most generic Chinese food. Oh yeah, yeah. Panda Express. Yeah, but some, every time, every somehow time. the Chinese food at mall food courts are better. No, it is, yeah. but it's like I'm like, wow, I could get everything. Yeah. And then I just walk by, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'll get this. Yeah. They do a great Fried job right. of just showing you their food. Though. Yeah, it's so fast. Yeah. yeah, it is so fast. Ready I could have that in seconds. seconds. Yeah, right. mm-hmm. yeah, I like that. <laughs> I just asked my girl her favorite restaurant. She said a sushi place in Lancaster. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Don't worry, he's oh, in no. Chicago. I think. <laughs> Stealing all the broads uh, in Chicago this week. 
He's out there this week. Yeah, what, what's he doing there? I think they're doing a Valentine's Day like meetup at the bar. Brought off. A brought off. Oh God. He brought White Sox Dave. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's is awesome. There a, can I, is there a picture for it? Yeah, I'll take the under. Yeah. What is this? I need to know more details. Oh, no broads. What does saying, this entail? I don't know. I, think, off. I saw a picture of it. A traditional brought off. <laughs> I need to know. More. Those two are just going to bail and end up going to a movie theater in one long overcoat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who would be on whose shoulders? <laughs> that would be a, an awesome debate to watch. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm the fucking one who gets to be. I'm the face. I'm the face. They go next to each other in the trench <laughs> they're, coat. They're it doesn't make sense. sense. <laughs> yeah. It would never get in. I guess this wide boy is trying to see a rated R film. This wide Siamese <laughs> twin. Yeah. 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 Siamese twins that look nothing alike. <laughs> So they really don't like each other, huh? I don't know. I, I think don't think so. I think they don't like each other. Yeah. By the way, I think the mid show is debuting today. Is that right, TJ? Three p.m. Yeah. Three p.m. So Barstool Chicago, they're starting the mid show on YouTube. Three p.m. on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. Eddie, uh, Chief, and White Sox Dave live from Barstool Chicago. Hmm. Right. So three p.m. on their YouTube. Tune in. You got to be out by three p.m. Nope, there's no hard out for us. Uh, this will be great, though. They're very excited. I talked to them for a while about it. So tune in. Um, I'll tweet the stream whenever it goes live. But yeah, they're Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They're doing a live YouTube show. Nice. What's the show going to be like? Is it going to be like an extension of Redline Radio? Or are they going to be talking barstool stuff, sports? It's, it's going to be, tournaments. yeah. So I think they're doing Tuesday and Wednesday. They're going to be doing just general. So everyone should, you know, everyone should tune in anyway. But it's a lot of general stuff. I think Thursday, the second hour, they're going to add a second hour that will be uh, Chicago sports. Mm. But the other three hours are going to be general stuff, barstool stuff, you know, debates, topics, segments. Love that. Yeah. That's sick. It'll be great. Shout out to the boys out in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the mid show. Got to get Nadu on. Oh, hopefully Nadu will be on yeah. today. Oh, yeah. I think have oh, him on. Man. There it is. Wait, Valentine's Showdown. Right now, uh, uh, I need more details on this. I gotta know, what are they up to? The ridgy ass <laughs> cuisine, bro. <laughs> the craziest thing is, I believe a lot of broads will show up. But like, what are they? What is? He's a magnet. What is the scoring method? I think it's uh, post bra. I think they pussy fox. <laughs> oh, I think it's like um when they when they uh, speed dating. No, the scientists go out in the ocean. They tag the sharks. I think we give them each a. a like they each get fifty tags, and by the end of the night, we just check behind every girl's ear. <laughs> it's a to see who's been tagged. Yeah. It's a disadvantage <laughs> if you fuck longer. True. Yep. Mm. It's a catch and release show, though. Okay. Let's just make that clear. <laughs> uh, it'd be great if both of them found their future wives tonight. I hope yeah. I, if they both fall in Sisters. love. Sisters. Oh my yeah. God! If the dude and White Sox say we're yeah, they got laws. dueling anniversaries. <laughs> <laughs> This company's so big, and our Valentine's Day idea is, is Nadu and White Sox Dave. <laughs> I, I we brought nailed off. it. Fantastic. Yeah. We nailed it. <laughs> that didn't Imagine Nadu like, explaining to someone why he's going to Chicago for that. Yeah. Wait, let's call him. Let's call him. Yeah, he's got a broad off tonight. Let's call, bro yeah. let's call yeah, he's him. Probably in Chicago. I'm traveling to go to a broad off. Deep meditation right now. <laughs> a three-hour flight. <laughs> so who, who's going to be better? All right, Nadu is on today, the mid-show. Oh, okay, great. So that's yeah, guaranteed. Okay. We can still call him, though. We can call him and, and do a little prep for the mid show because he's gonna be on with White Sox Dave on the mid show. Yeah. They don't like each other. No. Do they have any reason not to? I feel like there's a lot of people at this I, company who are like, I hate this. They both have great reasons. I think it's just asking like, why do two alpha male boos, um, alpha male mooses, yeah, like tussle True. in the wild? Yeah, it's right. territorial. It's they like silverbacks. Yeah, yeah, they don't fucking know why they hate each other. They just inside, deep inside, they hate each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We should the have other them. One wants the other one's broads. It's like because they want each other's broads. If Nadu saw us as a threat, he would hate us too. True. Yeah. But he knows he could have any. Thank of God them. he doesn't. We should have him put on football helmets, just smash heads. Yeah. So one of them gives up. <laughs> could take days. <laughs> would never end. <laughs> Didn't uh, Nadu show Joey his bird or something like that? He like Man. showed huh. his dick or something? Yeah, I think so. And Joey said it was fine. He said, no, he said it was like nice. He said it was, he said huge. It was nice. girthy. Oh, yeah. oh. fat dick. He had a fucking. 
Cho? which I feel like has to help him at the broad off. You know what I mean? If that yep. if the word's just getting around that he's sitting on a coke. Can. I think it's a good matchup. I'm pretty sure White Sox. I think, I think um, the dude is a better talker. Yeah. And I think. Uh, oh wait, has White Sox Dave's a better lure? Yeah, Dave's. Yeah, Dave's a better lure. <laughs> I heard White Sox Dave has a nine-inch penis. Is that true? I think so. Has White Sox Dave ever claimed to be a, a broad getter? No, but he'll do he does. The... He's, he's a competition freak. You know what White Sox Dave has, and I don't mean this in a mean way, but I'm picturing. Someone like me drunk at the bar and looking at him being like, I can fix that guy. That guy needs fixing. I'm like, I think Nadu. I can do it. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nadu is that perfect. That guy needs no fixing. Right. They each have their own allure. He's a finished work of art. But it's it's Dave's home turf. It is. And didn't Dave yeah. uh during like March Madness there wasn't he he was saying he brought like twenty girls to the bar stool bar or something yeah. like that? I think maybe that's some of the genesis of it. So it's his home turf, home city, but yeah. also his home bar. And he seems like he doesn't care. Like, I can't see him, like, chasing a girl. Like, I don't know. No, which br- makes them chase him. Like, that's what I'm yeah. saying. That's yeah. alluring. That's He is alluring. Dude, the wait. dude's had his had the yeah. best winter season that anyone's have that I can recall. Yes. Think so? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Is it a thing for single women to go out on Valentine's night at, as broads? I think uh, it wasn't Grace talking about having a party for all the singles on Valentine's Day. Yes. They could all... Hmm. Who's up there Michael for Scott best winters? He's playing like Anthony Edwards right now. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Anthony Edwards is going to put up the Russians in World War II. Are they had a good winter. Good winter. Mm-hmm. Real strong winter. A mating aspect. Oh. Um, best win. Yeah. Bears, I guess. Uh, Eric Andre. You see Eric Andre's. Oh, oh. did you see that picture? A pool by Andre. I know. Yeah. What? Emily Radzikowski and Eric Andre, a thing. Oh, God, what? No. Oh, Eric. On his, did you yeah. see the photo Eric. today? Okay, oh, this is IG KB, This is good for funny guys. <laughs> no. Yeah, look at Not this. Like this. Look in no, the background. In the background. Look in the background. In the mirror. That means they just fucked. Eric, you're better than this. I was shocked at how dirty that rug was. It's very upsetting. Oh, wow. They fucked hard. Yeah, the rug's all Damn. filled up. I think they fucked on that little... That doesn't look like a good fucking chair at all. <laughs> I think every chair is a good fucking chair with Emily, Emily R. Yeah. yeah. True. That's hilarious that they're rich. Gives yeah. hopes to the funny guys. You just got to wait for your right. hot girl to have a child and get divorced. Mm-hmm. And also date Pete Davidson. Oh, yeah, you yeah. just got to wait. Yep. You just got to wait it out. Mm-hmm. Although Pete Davidson's a funny guy, too. Ah, uh, shit, yeah. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Yeah. What was the last? What was the last funny thing he did? I think he's got a show coming out on Peacock. It's funny. Is it? Was it funny? That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is funny. Him on Peacock. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. You have to admit, Ron, that's funny. It was like a funny thing that he, because I, I, I always wanted to like Pete Davidson, but I feel like they kind of dried up and he got more cool than funny. He, he is did, very yeah. cool. He's more like um, Travis Barker now than, uh, than like uh, a SNL guy. Not like yeah. Daryl Hammond or some shit like that. I don't think you could be named Travis and be funny. <sighs> um, Travis Kelsey is Strana's definitely not funny. funny. Ryman Travis, had some good uh, interviews. Travis Scott. Travis McCoy. Oh. You're Travis right. Travis Tritt. Yeah. Travis Tritt. Very funny. You think so? Sure. <laughs> In a country way. Travis. Mm-mm. Way Travis. Travis. Hilarious. Good. Very silly. Yeah. Uh, you can't. Travis. Uh, Damn, I think you might be right. What about Trevor? Let, yeah, let's find the funniest no, Travis. Can't be funniest Trevor. That's documented. You don't think so? Uh, that's yeah. We should do a show. We should find funniest, the funniest, funniest Travis. Travis USA. Yes. Oh wow, yeah. I'm in. <laughs> Welcome back to funniest, funniest Travis, Travis USA <laughs> season 14. <Yeah. laughs> I dated got? a Travis once. Was funny? it funny? In the Marines, and we were together for like a year. Oh, and yeah. one time he was like, "I got something special." Did I? Maybe I already told this on here. And all day long, I was like, what could it be? Is he going to propose? Like, whatever, because Marines get engaged really quick. And um, it was that he he had one of those lowrider trucks that couldn't go over speed bumps and stuff. It was like his hobby. Sounds like a Travis. <laughs> his and hobby was not <laughs> going over speed bumps. <laughs> he got huge, his big surprise for him is it got huge, like, subwoofers put in in the little cab of the truck so that I couldn't fit in it anymore. But he <laughs> thought I would think the speakers were cool. And that is a Travis move. That's a funny That's like Travis. A Travis yeah, ass. It is. That's it is a funny. very Travis. Maybe they yeah. are funny. We should do. Yak should host funniest Travis USA. <laughs> yeah. Be like, Whoop. okay. Should. No. No. Hell no. Hmm. 
Pastrana. Oh, Pastrana. What's no? He's rad. Yeah, he's oh, who's rad. that guy? Travis Tritt. See, tell me he's not a little Country funny. Singer. Travis Riker, TikTok hmm. star. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, no, not really any funny Travises. Oh, who's Let's that? Say Etienne. All right, we gotta find the funniest Travis. <laughs> Nominate the funny Travis in your life. I'm down to do this. To just do a, a show where we Travis. just search for the funniest Travis in America. What are we basing it off? Video stand up, just interpersonal comedy? Uh, video stand up, first name. Mm-hmm. Why don't we have uh, TJ? What's a good email? Let's have all the Travises submit their funniest video. What about Canadian Travises? We'll have a fool of a yeah. Travis. Uh, worried about that. They gotta we'll have, have some a Travis sort of proof. There has to be some sort of proof of Travis as their first name. Yeah, so they yes. got a yeah. picture of their license or something. Uh, yeah. yeah, and they send a video to, to TJ. TJ, what should the email be? No, was just my email. I, I'm picturing a room of 12 Travises, us as the Travi. Uh, Travi, and uh, <laughs> this could work. This could be huge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. 12 Travis, yes. <laughs> group of Travis Travis. 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 Traverse. I think it's just, yeah. it, it retains this, the singular yeah. Travis. 12 Travis. <laughs> <laughs> 12 judges, yeah. This is a hit. This yeah, is this is going to be really big. What if none of them are funny? That's what I, I want. Think, no, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, I think they're all going to be very yeah, unfunny. Be it's got to be a funny. No, it has to be a funniest, but it doesn't mean he's funny. No. Yeah. Yeah. We're just finding the funniest Travis. Yeah. It would also be funny if like, we find the funniest Travis and then plot twist, he like he goes by his middle name, Mike. Yeah. Uh, it's like, oh, well, that makes sense. Well, that would be controversy. Yeah. I think you have to go by Travis. Right, but he we didn't realize till we were like, yeah. this one Travis yeah. is funnier than the others. And he's disqualified. Yeah. yeah. All right, so name? Travis is only... What do they have to submit? Like, what is the a minute video of their funniest material? Yeah. Okay. And your driver's license. Oh, I'm, your driver's so, license. I'm so fucking excited. And driver's license. Travis Day. And then, and then if it's really good, we'll bring them in. It might have to be Travis Week. We'll yeah. bring in the top three. Yeah. And they're not hired by any means. Cause, mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. But a really big trophy. Yeah, we'll start We'll start with just a video submission where we'll go through all the Travis videos mm-hmm. one day. I want Travis Kelsey to be on and lose early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can it be a sketch or it has to be like a stand up attempt? That'd be Say funny. 90 seconds. Yeah, 90 whatever seconds, you want. 90 whatever, seconds anything. to wow us. I think okay. even writing, uh, like, I, I feel like I would even submit writing or take anything. writing submissions. Well, it could be a, a slideshow. Yeah, a slideshow. It has to be in video okay, format. Yeah, yeah. So we, we could put play writing it on the show. in format. Yeah. This is huge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. This has to have been what it felt like when you guys like thought of Pardon My Take. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same. I'll tell you what, I might even do. What if we did grand prize? I named my son Travis. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, that's clear not that was a death sentence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like a lose lose for yeah, you. No, that's probably not. Just no matter what happens, you're naming your kid Travis. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that's They're all what it is. <laughs> yeah, just by us doing Travis Week means I have to name my child Travis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't want a Travis. No, I don't want a Travis. I'd fucking hate him. How do we get to this? How did we get to We this? just started talking Travis's. Oh, wait. How do... Wait. <laughs> um, Travis Barker was hanging out with Pete oh, Davidson. Oh. Pete Davidson doesn't do anything funny, funny anymore. Right. never been a funny Travis. Yeah. Speaking <laughs> of uh, Travis Pastrana, NASCAR. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. Oh, yeah. NASCAR this week. Yeah, or he's trying to qualify for the Daytona 500, which is this Sunday at 2.30 on Fox. Uh, it kicks off the 75th season of NASCAR. They just had the clash at the Coliseum, but now they got their Super Bowl. The biggest uh, race of the year is in Daytona. And Travis Pastrana is one of the drivers trying to qualify for it. I didn't know he was into that. Dude, shout out to Large and Spider. They do such a good job at NASCAR, yeah. man. Mm-hmm. They really deserve that. They spot. got drivers in here constantly, too. Yeah, they really bust their ass. They're all at all the races, and they, yeah, they, they care love about it. it. They're passionate it's about it. It's not some fake shit. You know what I mean? They actually care about NASCAR. So shout yeah. out to those guys. They do a great job covering it. What do you think about yeah. the Daytona uh, Diamond logo or the, the NASCAR Diamond logo for the 75th season? Thanks. Well, I love NASCAR, and I think they did it right. I just need to, I, I, I like it a lot. Random. Yeah. I like the logo a whole lot. I like that the diamond is uh, mm-hmm. broken up like that, like the NASCAR. Why is the blue logo. not broken up? Well, I think that's like how the NASCAR logo is. You know how it's like split mm-hmm. at the lines at the end. I sure. think they did the same ratio as that. Oh, I see. Yeah, the boys and Alex Bennett that's going cool. down. Seventy mm-hmm. fifth. Seventy fifth. Speaking of large, I have a video out on the site with him right now. He came over to my house to cook Omaha steaks. No free ads. Oh. But uh, what, for what, Valentine's Day. That's just a regular ad. That's not an ad. I'm just it saying. Wasn't, but was it an ad? It was. So it's not free. 
Mm, Jonathan Gannon. You can advertise. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. You can Jonathan advertise Gannon. the advertisement. Okay. The Cardinals. Oh, oh, that's out now. It is hey, undersell on your video yesterday. Very, oh, very, very funny. funny. I think I was having like, I'm not kidding. I was having like an anxiety attack. Oh, it's the perfect I was hung over after the game. No, I just, you know, it's when you're hung over and you're overthinking something and you're. Whatever. It was the perfect loss video. It. Yeah. It was the perfect loss video. And Smitty getting into a fight with someone like Smitty smacking the 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 microphone off the man's titty. Oh, yeah. yeah, see that? He was Crazy. he worked here. He's he still does stuff with Barstool. Oh yeah, yeah. Huh. Smitty? No, oh. the intern. <laughs> the intern who got hey. thump. wait that was Lee's breast. Yes, he's oh. a delight. He's an absolute delight. Wait, that was uh, Lee Holbert. Yeah, he wears the John Cruck jersey. Yeah, yeah like he's John Cruck. The one that Dave loved just by looking at him. Yeah. yeah. Mhm. Mm that was yep. him. Yep. I like that guy. He was a champ. That's how we that like that's how Max also communicates like with just like slaps and like tummy punches and stuff. Yeah, like that was kind of a little it's mm -hmm. a Philly thing. Yeah, yeah. He was just roughing you up a little bit at the game. Oh yeah, and memes. He was just doling out punishment. <laughs> left and right. It's kind of sick. That is sick. Thump. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. It was sad. I know. I know. I can't really imagine a worse fall. It's the opposite of Nadu's winter. Just loss, MLS, loss, World Series, loss, Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. You should really make the Super Bowl best out of three. That's how you'd find out the, the best. That would be fun if we had three Super Bowls. Yeah. That would be sick. That would. Skip the regular season, just get the good teams in the playoffs. Play best of three but series. Then do you have three halftime shows? True. Good yeah. point. Can't have three Rihannas. He doesn't have enough, Rihanna? enough catalog for that. Would DJ, you any emails from any Travis yet? I got one. You got one from Travis you? Lindsay, but he's from Halifax. Uh, I told you always, Canadian Travis he has, has some juice. I, think, I actually think yeah, 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 the best Travis. We're going to have to change the name of the American show. He's Travis Canada. Yeah, because we're we in America. Because we don't know... Like, Travis in Canada might be a fucking stellar name. It might mm -hmm. be. That's what yes. I'm worried about. That would have to be a I whole different I think it's got to be American. I mean, we could do... Yeah, we do Travis International. Yeah. Yeah. Travis Abroad. An Indian Travis. Oh! Be fucking awesome. Yeah, that would be that would rock. Travis Abroad. We're here... <laughs> we're here in uh, Czechoslovakia... <laughs> Trying to find the funniest Travis. <laughs> I know we joke, but I'm going to end up missing a fucking week of yaks doing fucking Travis Vit content down in fucking <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Orlando. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we should hold it. The oh, Orlando, Tampa and Orlando have yeah. to have the most Travises. The most Travises per capita. Yo, by far. Yeah. Lake Travis. We finish everything oh. at Lake Travis. Yeah. Big... We drop them in the middle and whoever can survive. Hmm. Kill all the other Travis. Now it's not a funny thing, it's a survival thing. No, now we're actually doing the world a service by killing a lot of Travises. Yeah. I would like to have one of those tennis ball guns and they're going through an obstacle course and we're hitting them with those. Yeah. American gladiator style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Make this really complex. would be complex. funny. Nothing funnier than Make them wear name tags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm picturing it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> No qualifiers, no Travis S. No, no. Travis. And so when the elimination comes, we're just going to be so confused. The bottom three. I want a warehouse Travis. of a 100 Travises to start it off. Yeah. <laughs> I want a Mr. Beast amount of Travises. Yeah. <laughs> we gathered 100 Travises <laughs> nationwide. I could see the History Channel stealing this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By far. We're not going to do other names in seasons. It's always Travis. What if what if Bravo did Real Housewives of Travis? <laughs> just, it's just chicks na married to a guy named Travis. <laughs> yeah, the real Travises of America. Yeah. Yeah, just having to deal with a Travis all day. Honestly, it'd probably be an amazing show. Yeah, it would. It I'd would watch be. that. They're all into, I feel like Travis's are into like low rider trucks, like X Games. Yeah, they're all into shit. the same shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They ride yeah. motocross. Have mohawks. Yeah. Yeah. But not the long kind, like the short. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh huh. Travis. Yeah. I don't know any. Do I know any Travis? No, a Canadian Travis. That's my only Travis. I've I know Canadian, Canadian Travis. Yeah. Is there a Travis here? Do we have a Travis at Barstool yet? Well, that would kind of suck for him. We just tried mm. to. I don't Bet think we have a Travis at Barstool. Are you sure? No. Not in content. I don't think. It seems like something we'd have. We have a Travis for don't. the boys. Yeah. That's not his actual name. Yeah. That's the funniest Sean. thing that Travis has ever done. Yeah. It was done by a Sean. Jesus. That's how that sh goes to show. Uh, yeah. Funniest Travis is a Sean. <laughs> I think Sean's. So they're kind of cousins. Yeah. 
Sean's and Travis's. Yeah. <laughs> Sean's are just, yeah, Travis's that were able to get a real job. I don't even know how to. Oh, we know Travis, the guy that jumps off cliffs. He's too cool. Oh, way too cool. Yeah. Wait, he wouldn't even try to be funny. Great guy, uh, Travis Sims. Mm-hmm. Jumps off. He's like a yeah, professional cliff extreme diver. extreme sports. That's, yeah. Yep. Fits the bill. I'm going to start scouting. If you don't know any comics named Travis? Just no. searching. Ah, uh, Travis. No. Travis kills me. No, I don't. Oh. I'm off the top of my head, no. Travis White was my first friend in second grade. Hmm. Was he white? No. I didn't think so. That's funny. No. That is funny. But that's more on his parents. Well, I guess not really. It's probably. Never mind. Hmm. Mm. I want to have some of that pizza, Kate. I've, it's delicious. Am I pizza. cold? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. It looks I got excited. It might, it might be better cold though. I'll have a little bit of pizza. I was going pizza. to get one for myself, and they pulled a whole fresh one out of the oven, and I was like, "Can I just take?" That I think whole you thing? pulled a curious move. You definitely didn't bring enough plates. Sloppy. I asked for a couple of plates from them, and they yeah you brought like three plates. I don't know how many they put in there. DJ, you want to spin the wheel? Yeah. Oh, wait, submission. TJ, what's your name? Timothy. Oh. I just got submission. How funny would that be? Name Andrew. His name was Travis. You and we didn't even know. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's just been playing playing coy the whole time. Yeah. What a reveal at the end of the show. Yeah. Oh, right, that makes sense. Your dad's name. What's Pug Banana again? What do we have to? I don't know. I don't know. That's this. <laughs> Do the whole episode with their finger in a banana. Oh, yeah. Do we have something residual left over? Oh, ML Cake Day. Oh, ML Cake. Bingo. We got to do bingo, too. And yeah. Bingo and let's do it next Katie week. has to give a homeless person $100. Okay. All right. I'll think of ML Cake this week. Yeah. So next week we'll do ML Cake. And next week, uh, well, next Wednesday, the boys are going to Le Bernardin. Whoa. After the yak on Wednesday. Hey, nice. I don't you know if we'll res. video it or what. No, no, no content delighted. can come from it. Okay, so we'll just give a recap on Thursday. No. <sighs> no, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> we should take one picture of us right before. <laughs> there it is. So that you know we went. Do I have to wear a coat? Do I have to wear a coat to that? And you have to wear like a whole ass. And then? ascot. Yeah, ascot. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm just going to pepper Nate with questions the whole time. You two, Che and Nate? Yep. It's kind how, of how did they get involved? I think he was originally involved. Roan maybe added him. Part of it, yeah. Very excited for it. It's going to be so delicious. Is that okay, Brandon? So don't it's, it's fine. I just don't remember. I, I don't remember how that foursome came together. The problem with Nate? None whatsoever. Are you sure? Like you still do. sore at me about the Saturday night thing. I was just. I was just. Well, we haven't even changed. No, it's fine. I thought Nate, we will know if you have a problem. We had a great interaction Saturday night. I'm sorry I brought it up. You just didn't. There wasn't a lot of life in your hug. That's all. Huh. I feel bad. It's okay. You give me a really big hug. Yeah, but uh, off camera though. What's the point? Pat and Joey have a new show coming out. Ooh. Uh, today called Working Girls. They're doing like dirty jobs style thing. Oh hell yes. oh. yeah! That's gonna be very funny. What time? Do you know what time? I think it came out at, at one. Oh, sweet. You have a oh, that's kind of fucked up. What's their you first job? You have a teaser job? to the people? I believe they uh, did dog grooming. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Did uh, Pat do a BF Pat- reveal? Wait. Oh, yes, he's, he he's did. Done. Hasn't he done it before? Oh, I didn't. I never saw him before. Wait, it was the, like the hard drop. The dirtiest job the gay guys could find is dog grooming? No, I think they're, <laughs> I think they're easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, that is a funny idea. <laughs> let him let him ease into it. Let him dip yeah, their toe. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty jobs by the gay guys serving wings at a bar on an NFL <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Cashier. <laughs> Ew. Usually gays do kid grooming. Oh, God. Oh, bro. <laughs> uh, what I can't joke to? No, no, no. Oh, to be fair, no. dog reading is putting a penis in a vagina. No, they're doing dog grooming. Bro- oh, grooming. I it was breeding. Just making the poodles right. look fancy. That <laughs> was breeding. Because that would be gross for them. Oh. Yeah. Heterosexual That sex. would be. They Usually the there. lesbians handle handle the scissors, right? Yep. <laughs> they have to express the uh, anal glands. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. They have to express the dog's anal glands. That is a dirty job. Yeah. 
is a gross Ew, job. Gross. <laughs> Express? <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what that is, Sass. It pushed the fucking really? butt in. That's why dogs scoot, right? When their yes. little butt things are about to explode. Yes. That relief is so incredible. Gross. <laughs> gross <laughs> liquid be great. comes out. It smells like fish. Oh, it's uh. so, it smells like I think I, who said it smells about? like button pussy. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a, a, a oh, putting a best, poop right? inside of a pussy. Uh. What if it feels awesome though when they when they rub their? Oh, they, when they scoot. Oh, I bet no, I think it feels awesome when they get them expressed. Uh. It's like wiping their ass. The Next time I smells. oh shit, that's how I'm gonna wipe my ass. You do it yeah. yourself, like at home. I yeah, was yeah, randomly like my, my dogs don't do it. My sister's dog does it, and randomly it just starts smelling like fish. Yeah, and then we have to put him outside. <laughs> it's, it's it's genuinely repulsive. Decide to do what? To get the smell away. Just like walk around. That's when you got to express it. Uh, we're not expressing that. <laughs> well, you could take it to the my vet. Sister does. I don't. It's like ten bucks. There should be a tool for that already. Yeah. I used to do it. Still, it's so gross. Oh. In the tub. Oh. Mm. Ugh. Ugh. How was that pizza, Ron? It was really good. Needed that. <laughs> I know I wasn't asked, but I figured I'd answer because Ron's got a Ron's got a full mouth. Yeah, pizza. Thanks for stepping in. I was not saying the pizza's good. This is for white power. That yeah. I was <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's Che today? Don't know. I thought you knew. His dad is struggling. Uh, it will be interesting to see how he deals with the first true losing streak. He stressed me yesterday. I it was um I got I had a nine thirty flight from Phoenix and I got to the airport like six thirty because I was scared it was going to be packed and terrible and awful and he had a nine o'clock flight and he texted me at 7 45 and said hey how's the uh how's the airport and he was really pushing it and that bothered me yeah that's bullshit you know what i'm saying it knows what you talking about because you like to get there early too got there so early Nick, i'm one up in you tonight what i'm going i'm going on vacation tomorrow and uh the flight got moved up i didn't know they could just do that to you oh yeah so I'm staying at the hotel. Oh, I'm so jealous. Airport. I'm so jealous. At a new hotel. TSA one? The TWA, yeah. That's so awesome. awesome. Oh, you can just walk yeah. right from the hotel in there? Yeah, and it's like, oh. it's like the new hotel they opened in JFK that looks like it's from the 50s. It's like a Mad Men. Quicks, very you know, cool. Do yeah. Quicks get a room there for a weekend just to watch planes? Yeah, he just stayed there by himself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, awesome. my God. I'm so, so jealous. so Quigs. Yeah. You can go. There's, um, they turned airplanes into bars and stuff. So you yeah. can, like go onto the airplanes. And it looks out. legitimately and awesome. There's a pool that's like right on the tarmac, so you can lay there as planes are going. Like what? It's, it's, so it's like sick. supposed to be like a hip, cool spot. I want to. Yeah. I want to. I might yeah. do that this weekend. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Look at that. Daniela was just there for like. Yeah, a that's where night. I saw it. Yeah, it's supposed to be really cool. Look at that fucking hotel. It's that amazing. Sick. I know. I would you never. Have, I never would have thought of doing it until I saw it, and I was like, well, that seemed pretty cool. That. What that is? It's a bar. bar. What that is? See <laughs> your room. Yeah, your rooms are like right on the runway. So and I guess they have the the thickest glass ever. For what? The rooms. Oh really? Oh, so you don't not bothered by the sound? Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even think about that. I'm so jealous. Because I was like, I don't want to stay there if you can hear. And then yeah, on the website it was like. The rooms are basically soundproof. That's a good way to get your kids pumped up for the flight, too. Like, guys, this is an exciting, happy thing. Right. Nobody freak out on the plane because look how cool we're watching them all night. You're definitely going to hit the glass a little bit, right? Yeah, I'm going yeah, to test it out. See. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably bring some fucking bring the tungsten. Off tungsten, yeah. 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 Just give me a couple throws. <laughs> and Jack got tungsten dice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, are you jealous, though, Nick? I'm sleeping at the, so, at the I, airport. I would have gotten two nights there. Yeah. <laughs> Get really prepped. He's <laughs> <laughs> really in the zone. Hmm. Who's that in the lobby? Man reading some papers. Doesn't look like he belongs here. I'm kind of bummed they frosted the glass on the front door. No I more, know. more I know. peering out. Yeah. That cracked me up a lot this morning. How I had to like talk and be like, hi, can I come in? <laughs> <laughs> you have not gotten a card we yet. You still do no, my card, card though, right? Yeah. It just like broke. It stopped working like my first month here. <laughs> it's been rolling ever since. I just walked. You been paid? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah, my pay my che- paycheck got broken too. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm worried weird. about Fasoli. Why? Uh, he has each. He's been trying to own me recently. Yeah, he's been trying oh, to own what me. What is too? this new leaf? I don't know. He took my phone before the dozen live shows started and I couldn't find it. I was freaking out because I had notes on there for like jokes to say. And then as the show was going on, he just lifts it up and goes like this to me. What? Oh, that son of a bitch. Solely also, 
had his first negative experience with Dave. That might be it. Oh, yeah. he's lashing out. It has to be it. <gasps> so how bad was it? it? Apparently, it was pretty bad. He, uh, I can't remember who told me this, but he was flying his drone during uh, golf. They were sand- doing the sandbagger. I heard, I heard this. It was bad. I heard. And they, yeah. He flew it during Josh Richards' backswing, and Dave got very upset. Yeah, Fasoli flew a drone too close to me on horseback, and my horse freaked out. Yeah. And he and and apparently Fasoli then was like, I gotta go charge my drone, and just left for like two hours. Oh, he was probably sitting looking in a mirror, being like, "You blew it." Yeah, he was lashing out at us. Blew it. That, that, dude, that was your big experience. He's getting his Viva tattoo laser removed. <laughs> yeah, so he's probably he's gonna be thinking about that experience for the rest of his life. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, he can he can lash out at me. I know how important yeah, he needs to. I'm here for you, Nick. Hey, we got anything else? No. I'm excited to have a show. Travis, pizza. Travis, we got Travis. Got oh, yeah, Travis. we have a stuff to do. When are we going to go through the submissions? Um, so far, I have an Andrew, a Trent, a Holly, what? and a Travis that's never seen the show before. Let's do Tuesday. How, how do did Tuesday. he know about this? Hi, y'all. My cousin reached out to me earlier today and told me <laughs> we were having a Wait, front runner. That's what we need. A funny person named Travis. I've never listened to your show and have no idea who you are. I would never entertain the possibility of going to bat for Travis's all over the world, but you'd be sorely mistaken if you think I won't go to bat for myself. Okay. okay. Hey. That wasn't Runner. funny. No, I don't. Yeah. Oh. no, he took it personally. Yeah. All right, so, <laughs> yeah. yeah he kind of did. <laughs> I say we do a Tuesday, so there will be no yak Friday and Monday. Travy Tuesday. Travy Tuesday. So this upcoming Tuesday, when we're all back together, we'll go through all the Travis submissions. So and Travis- you can submit other Travises. Yes. Yes. And it could be a Without funny video knowledge. of something yeah. they did, yes. Yeah, he could do it unintentionally. Right. Um, can we get some shirts made in time that just say Travis? Yeah. yeah. Travis T. Yes. Travis T. So just <laughs> they just say Travis. They just say Travis. I think white block letters, green shirts. White block letters, green shirts. You think green? Oh, no. I'm over. I, I, no. I, this is, I think they should be neon green. Whoa. Okay, yeah. yeah. There's not much neon about the name Travis. Are you kidding? Oh, I think it's mm-hmm. very neon. It's a very neon name. They definitely yeah. rocked like the Nike Elites, the neon. Yeah, yep. yeah I think we the neon Under green Armor. with white block letters that just say Travis. Yeah. The Reebok yeah. Ziggs. We're going to have Travis uniforms now? Yeah. No, no, we're just Travis A week from today will be Travis Day. I'm Can excited. we also do, because obviously like, non-Travises are going to reach out. Can we just... Glance at those as well. No, no. Let's okay. Huh. Or we could. Or then we could, we're just doing Barstool Idol. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Or TJ, if you could set aside like ten, and we have to guess if they're Travis or not. Ooh. Ah. It, it would be the easiest game in the che, world. Che, I want Che. Someone text Che. I want him to start Travis episode with a PowerPoint on the history of Travises. And mm-hmm. Connor, if you could do a Travis theme song, mm. yeah, please. Connor got Dave's rap too. Jeez, yeah. yeah, I didn't like that. I was that was uncomfortable. What's a bat for him? I know, good. And what happened? He kind of got on TJ a little bit too, which I didn't like. Yeah, uh, we the first day Barstool Radio, or I guess it was YouTube. Uh, we had no intro. We just walked up. It was very awkward. Second day, we're like, we need an intro, and someone got Connor to narrate an intro, and Dave was like, that sucked. <laughs> um, and I was like, well, I understand what he was doing, and I think he was just asked to use the voice, so. Okay. It was a light. Yeah. A light it was a little, little ribbing. Yeah. All good. Yeah. All right, so next Tuesday, Travis Day. All right. Yeah. And reminder, no yak Friday, no yak Monday. We're enjoy the long weekend, the extra long weekend. Does nothing li- rhyme with Travis? <sighs> no. Is it the orange of names? Travis, have this. Rab- ha- yeah. Nav- Nav- nothing Navis? one word. Navis nothing a word. one word. Travis. I don't think. Uh, Navis. Navis feels like a word. Roan. What rhymes with Travis? Mavis, but it's spelled right. like it rhymes, but it doesn't. <laughs> Beaconhead ass. Calvis. Clavis. Avis. Uh, no. Gravis. Gravis. But isn't that gravitas? Roan, you'd be fucked if you had a rap against somebody named Travis. Oh, my God. Kill it in Tavis? Okay. Oh, it's a lizard extinct. You could do like a lot of slant things. Like you could turn into like an average thing, like Travis, average Travis, mm. Travis. average Travis. That's why you're the best. Classic, like classless. When's your rap battle? Or the F slur kind of. Yeah, when is your rap battle? And, uh, not this coming weekend, but the weekend after that. Okay, so everyone get ready. Ron's gonna be just eviscerating us for an entire week. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I've been. A ba- I've been. It's mode. been happening for a while. I've been mean to everybody for for quite some time now. I blame me throwing the. Football, Nick. 
<laughs> on, on me being in rap battle mode. <laughs> I blame me cheating on the desert. <laughs> yeah. It's on rap battle mode. It was rap battle mode. It was on rap battle mode. Yeah. Anything bad that happens, I'm going to blame on that. He's got a battle coming up. Right, it's fine. Everyone give him space. Yeah. But uh, please buy that pay-per-view. It's for a very, very good cause when that eventually comes Love out. Yeah. I'll buy it five times with the money you sent me. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. All right. All See you right. tomorrow. All right. Happy Valentine's. As soon as the act. It's the act. It's the act. It's the act. It's the act. Yeah, it's time to talk shop. We're doing Yankees love. It's the act. It's the act. Get your Travis's in, folks. So far, I have an Andrew, a Trent, a Holly, a Travis, a Tavis, an Alex, and a Sam.